Do you want to do that? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Anyways, this isn't candy. This is um, this is Pepperidge Farm. So this is the same uh, brand as Goldfish, which I also brought. Goldfish. Oh. This is spooky. 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 Yeah. I've actually tasted this a little bit. This is like some crackers. But these are so good. They're kind of like your classic butter crackers or butter cookies. So the, these are sweet, right? Yeah. So they kind of are similar to like the uh, little cookies. Oh yeah, they're, 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 they're so very buttery. buttery. They're, they're so very buttery. buttery. They I kind mean, of everything from there, like the crepes, the same. They're supposed to be very buttery. And they're called chessmen because they have little chess players on each one. Can't chew hard candy, so they want to choose something 
Did so they go to the theater? But it's so sticky though, my like loud adventures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really sticky. These ones weren't as sweet as the one the movie theater box. You got those from the movie theater? <laughs> no, the, but that box that I had. Do we still have the box? Well, the box, you know. I don't think so. Well, the it comes in a box. Where was it going? Where was it going? They seem sweeter than these small packages. I think so. I mean, they were so. they were bigger fish. Next on the list, which I think you also did try, was Twizzlers. Oh, I don't know these. Oh, so usually they're extremely long, and honestly, my favorite part about these when I was little was just taking them, like whipping them around yeah. for fun. But these are really mini, mini Twizzlers. They're strawberry flavored. Yes. Okay. But not, they're artificially strawberry Yes. Of course. Of course. So I personally... It wouldn't be American if it was that strawberry. <laughs> I'm personally not a fan of Personally, I can like eat them, but I don't appreciate them. Like, you know what I mean? It's like very, yeah, like, look at this like plain. It's like not very exciting. But the big ones are just fun to like play with. Okay. Yeah, Jenna likes playing with their food. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I can taste strawberry. What do you taste? Sugar. When I taste Twizzlers, I don't know. I I know what it tastes like. The like kids toothpaste. Sure, I don't know what kind of toothpaste you have when you're a kid, but <laughs> when I taste Twizzlers, I taste plastic. Me too. It tastes more like plastic than it tastes like strawberries. Yeah. But some people really love Twizzlers. I've never been one of those. I feel like the texture. Is like the the biggest thing of this this candy. They look really bad. I don't Moving know. right along, we've got sour fruit candy, sour patch kids. I love sour. So I'll give you the packet. Sour. And I love these. I can literally just sit there and eat an entire bag. They're so I think amazing. I'm gonna like these too. I prefer sour candy. Yeah. I I prefer. So try to try to taste each color. Oh. The blue is like okay, but I really like the like yellow and orange. What about green? Actually, the blue is pretty good. Do you want the half of green? Do you want the second half of green? I'm trying to take a back. The blue is a lot better. Do you want blue, Nate? Sure. It's really good. It's like a raspberry, I think, the blue. Yeah. I don't know why raspberry is blue, though. I like these. It's a yellow one. Have you, do you have a yellow one in your bag? I have orange. A two green. No yellow? Then I'll, I'll share it. Here's the yellow. Thank you. So far, I've been eating pops of, from someone else's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Swedish fish, because this thing was really no. 
like not that exciting. There's, there's not much flavor to it, and the texture is kind of plasticky. This thing sticks to your teeth, <laughs> but you know. Um. So this is a candy that I do not enjoy, and I feel like a lot of people don't enjoy. Why? But it's quintessential Halloween candy. Because I usually love what other people hate. Candy corn! It looks like little corn pieces. Cheers. It's like... What? It's like... It's almost like... Cake frosting, or like hardened. But like not as good. I was gonna say like powdered sugar, like so. Yeah, like icing, like frosting and powdered sugar mixed together, like so fun. Yeah, definitely. What do you think of it? I don't think I want to swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> we should have brought the trash can over. No, literally, like. So like, every Halloween there's so many memes about candy corn because everybody hates candy corn. I can't see why. It's just. Sugar. But we always have like bowls of candy. Candy corn around. Yeah, like school, we always have candy corn. That's probably because it's the cheapest one. It's probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It just, for those of you who doesn't know what it, is, what it is, it just tastes like plain sugar in your mouth. Alright, the next one, you may have heard of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Yeah, they're like little tiny Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Yeah, they're like tiny Reese's So I think I'm gonna love Reese's Pieces. I, I heard from them. I heard about it They're from, different, from a song. Uh, this is like M&M's. Um, they look like M&M's, but they taste like they don't taste exactly like Reese's. They melt in your mouth more than a regular Reese's. Oh, okay. Does. So is it, you They're might different. like the regular Reese's better. Okay. I prefer the Reese's Pieces. I've never been a huge Reese's fan though. Oh. But. Okay, it's like M&M's without the nut. Yeah, yeah it's like pink, kind of like peanut butter and M&M's a little bit, but with a little bit. Yeah, these are like, crispier. Well then what do you like better, the cups and the pieces? The cups. Mm -hmm. So they're addicted to the pieces. I know. They are. I like them in ice cream. Like when they're mashed into like oh, yeah. ice cream. Oh yeah, or for a joke. I, I think we have these, well maybe not this brand, but like this type of candy. This type of candy in Froyo stores. Sour Patch. Okay. We have Sour Patch Kids, Reese's Pieces, Swedish Fish. But I think I like the, the original Reese's better than even than the Sour Patch. This is really like no uh, the mm, corn. What was it? The candy the corn. Ca candy corn was the worst thing okay. for sure. <laughs> All right. This next thing exists in France, but it tastes different. In oh the wow! Van. I'm excited. Kit Kat, <gasps> which was my favorite candy when I was a kid. It looks different too. It, this, this is not the logo that I usually see. Yeah, this is the Kit Kat logo. Kit Kat. <laughs> All right. This is my favorite candy. Do you bite into it or do you break it apart? I break it apart. I obviously. I just. I'm, I'm not a human. I thought Dan would be the person to just bite into it. Why? <laughs> what? What kind of person is that? Oh. <laughs> well, I was gonna 
Chris hears you, but. No, it's too late. We're already much. I'm gonna get you knocking out. Does it taste different than the French one? Yeah, it is sweet. It, yeah, it's, it's sweeter. I think it has more sugars. <laughs> it probably does. <laughs> yeah, I, don't think, I, don't know I prefer the American Kit Kat, mm. but I'm also just used to it. Do you prefer the French Kit Kat? I think so. Mm. I don't know, like, yeah, it does taste different, but I can't put my finger on it. Mm. Mm. Just drink some wine and maybe it will come to you. <laughs> Alright, I know you said you've already tried it, but it was also in the variety pack. It's the classic Reese's Peanut yeah. Butter Cup. Yay! Okay. That's, That's my favorite. I'm actually not a huge Reese's fan. I'll split one though. I'll just do that a little bit. I haven't had one in so long. Love it. I love it. Reese's. If you want to support this channel, I accept payment in Reese's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> oh my god. So you got your classic cup. And you got a peel of the wrapper. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna cut this in half. Okay. So that we can... Ben loves it, so you can have okay, you can have this one. You. salty at the same time. I don't think I've ever tried anything like this. Mm. this. This kind of mixture just, it does not exist in Europe. Because mm. the peanut butter isn't like peanut butter, you would find it. Like, oh right, yeah, and this is a peanut butter based recipe, so mm -hmm. maybe that's the reason. Yeah, but the peanut butter in Reese's, it's like very sugary. Mm. So you've got like the it's sugary, but it's also salty because you've got the nuts in it, so yeah. it's like salty and sugary. I love, I love this mixture. Mm. It's kind of like a fudgy kind of peanut butter. Yeah. But it's, I mean, it's not like, it's not it's, a It's not the butter, I think it's like powder, mm -hmm. you know, butter powder. Yeah, that's kind of like what fudge, the peanut butter fudge is like. Mm -hmm. I think when you make some homemade like peanut butter pretzel like desserts in the U.S. with chocolate, like usually you add like powdered sugar to the regular peanut butter, so I think it's something like because it comes out to be more tasting more like that. Okay. I have saved the last, the best for last, the underrated American candy by Brand Reese's. Take five. Yeah. Do you remember the commercial for it? No. The take more than four, take five. Yeah. Well, what's in a take five? What's in a take five, you ask? Pretzels, caramel, peanut butter, peanuts, and chocolate. Okay. Take five. I'm gonna attempt to split this in half. It'll be hard with the pretzels. It's okay if you can't. I'll let Dan have the whole experience. <laughs> I should have just brought three because these are so delicious. Oh, wait, maybe I did bring three. I did. I did bring three. Yeah, I love you, Jenna. Thanks for opening it. <laughs> <laughs> You have to really bite into it because there's pencils in it. Oh. Woo! I like it. Mm -hmm. It's so yummy. Why do you think it's underrated? Because no, nobody buys them. Nobody buys them. Um, but it has a good mixture of the salty and the sweet. I love that. It's got everything a Reese's has. I plus agree. pencils. Yeah, These are so underrated. Mm -hmm. Like even I forgot about them until you brought them up again. I'm telling you. I think they're so good. Yeah, I think I like these better than the original Reese's. Mm -hmm. Well then we should 
we need to... They just have more flavor to them. Mm-hmm. There's just so much going on. It's so delicious. And it's by the Reese's brand, so... Number one, Reese's take five. Mm-hmm. Then the original Reese's. Mm-hmm. In the cup. And then uh, Sour Patch. Then Reese's Pieces. And then Swedish Fish. And then this thing, what's it called? Twizzlers. 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 And then the thing I throw away. The candy. <laughs> the candy. I know, it's so sad. Because you can't tell they have, this doesn't come in smaller bags. You only get like the giant bags of candy corn. Yeah, no, that's and like they're a, super cheap. That's the smallest bag. Probably. Maybe that's why they're popular. They're cheap. I think so. If, if you want the kids to stay out of your way for Halloween, you just put the candy corn in front of them, they'll never come back. Just put a bucket of candy corn? That sounds like a nightmare. I would definitely leave that. Right. Yeah. Or like when I took a cheetah when I was younger, there were some houses that had a bowl, and then it would be like take one piece of candy. But then I would always take like, a handful oh. of candy. Like I was such a rule follower. I would only take one unless I went to this one place, and it was towards the end of the night, so there just like weren't a lot of trick or treaters left. And they had an entire bowl of Kit Kats, and that's my favorite candy. So I was like, Whoa. Okay, Kit Kat is your favorite candy. Um, I really love Kit Kats and Crunch Bars. Those were always my go-to candies when I was little, and I still prefer those candies. I was never a big peanut butter and chocolate combo. Oh. I love peanut butter and chocolate, but usually together, like, I never got very excited about Reese's. Do you know what a Crunch Bar is? No. They have it in France. Really? Mm-hmm. Crunch. It's like a chocolate bar called Crunch. It's got like little rice crispy thingies. Oh, it's that. Yeah, I tried it. I'm, I'm not moving it. No, I didn't. I was surprised when Jenna said that was one of her favorite pieces of candy. <laughs> and then when I went to the movie theaters, I always got a bunch of Crunch, which was the little Crunch bar, little like balls. Oh. Oh my god, it was so good. I would get hot tamales. They're like this, they're kind of like... You would. I <laughs> would. They're, like the, they're like the cinnamon, like, gummy. They're like spicy yeah. cinnamon. Why would, why would you get them at the movie theater? You're like, do you want to be miserable while you're watching your movie? You want to enjoy chocolate. You don't want to, like, be attacked well, by I would cinnamon. Eat it. I would eat it it's during spicy. the commercial, so... I didn't have time to eat it during the movie. No, that's right. I usually don't eat when I watch a movie at the theater. Wow, I never not eat when I go to the movie theaters. <laughs> I don't know if this is an American thing. Have you seen the videos of our butter machines that we have no. at movie theaters? No. Yeah, um, we have like these machines that you um, you bring your popcorn underneath the machine and you press the big red button and melted butter comes drizzling out and you can put it all over your popcorn as much as you want. That's cute. <laughs> That's cute. Don't know if I want to do that though. <laughs> Oh, you're missing out. And then they have extra salts, like butter salts. And then you like, when it's wet with the butter, you put more of the salt on it, and then you shake it up, and then well, you do it again. Yeah, because when I came to France and I went to a movie theater, that they have pre-made boxes of popcorn that you buy. Yeah, it's not good. I tried it once. I, don't, I just don't like popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't had melted butter loaded with salt. I guess so. I guess so. Maybe, maybe. I'm not. Saying, um, We're gonna I, make you a believer in popcorn. Maybe. You should just make him some homemade popcorn with a bunch of butter. That's what I'm gonna do. And I remember when I tried it as a kid, just that like, my, my teeth hurt after that. Because you know you know those the kernels? Yeah, you know those hard uh, pieces of popcorn that are like oh. they don't get popped? Yeah. You have to be careful, yeah. You just don't eat those ones. Yeah. I know, but when I was a kid. Oh. I didn't know that. <laughs> So, uh, I've been traumatized. <laughs> traumatized by the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Very traumatizing. 
Yeah, so anyway, I feel like my sugar level in my blood just went up over the roof. Look at all those. Let's even it out with some goldfish. Oh! They're salty. They, they probably have sugar in it though, because it's an American snack. Actually, I'll have you know that there is zero grams of sugar and two grams of protein, so get your protein. <laughs> Protein as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you gave me three. There, bitch. Thank you. Hey, guys, like it. Does this help your sugar load? <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> I'm sugar high now. We need to get our salt level up to match our sugar level. We have nothing else. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> we have a salt shaker. This is our good thing. I think once I ate like 50% of some of that big tubs of goldfish, it's like um how how like in liters how many would how big would you say this? Um like two liters? Two and a half liters. I think it's like two and a half liters of goldfish. Yeah. It's just a bed. It comes in like a, a carton. Mm. You ate the whole thing? No, not the whole thing, but like 50% of it at least. I mean, that's so many. In one sitting? Yeah. <laughs> I love goldfish. That's me if I eat cheese and it's... No. You haven't had those yet. They're still sitting in the corner. Yeah. Mm. Do you want to try them now? Maybe okay. Finally, you just get grab them. Where are they? They're over there. Over there. On the bottom shelf. Oh, you're making me work. Yeah, yeah. Did you want any more goldfish then? No, I think it's good. This is the Halloween version, the right? Ones. The, yeah, the goldfish were the Halloween versions. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Oh, the taste is the same. It's the same, but I guess some people will give out... I didn't, I've never seen that before, but I guess some people might give out little goldfish packs. Yeah, I used to get like goldfish or like pretzels. Oh yeah, I got pretzels sometimes, but I never got a goldfish. I would've been happy about that. The, the, um, the very first thing that I noticed about the American snacks is that the packaging is much more like complicated. There's a lot going on. There's this a lid and then there's this and the carton is like harder than most French snacks. Probably because it's using more paper to produce so it's more wasteful. Yeah, I guess so. That's what I was trying to say. It's more wasteful. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so these are like goldfish, but these are cheesier. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're good both cheddar, but they taste very different. Do you like cheese it's better or goldfish better? I think I like cheese it's better. There we go. It's settled. Jenna doesn't know. Good snacks. No. <laughs> Goldfish are definitely better, but what's better than Cheez-Its is burnt Cheez-Its. Extra toasty. So once in a blue moon, you might get a, a Cheez-It that's a little bit more baked than the others. But sometimes you get one that's like really burnt, and it tastes way better than the other ones. And so all these people wrote to Cheez-Its and were like, hey, we love burnt Cheez-Its, and they made a flavor called extra toasty, and all of them in it are like burnt. And that's, that's what I buy. <laughs> I love extra toasty cheeses. Are they like crunchier too? Mm, maybe a little bit more, yeah. But it tastes way better. They have more flavor than the regular cheeses. So now I think these are kind of boring. But I also was more of a goldfish person than a cheese person. Okay. I love cheeses. Made with 100% real cheese. Do you think it, what do you think about that? I don't know, the American cheese is just so different. And 
I can't say it tastes the same all the time, but I feel like the American cheese is just... Like, it doesn't have much variety to it, to the flavor, it's, it's like... Cheddar. Yeah, cheddar. Mostly. Mm -hmm. it, it reminds me of those um, McDonald's hamburger cheeses that you get. <laughs> the industrialized sliced yeah, cheese. Yeah, that, that thing. It tastes more or less the same. What do you think, Jenna? Oh, the cheeses? Yeah. I haven't had regular cheeses in a long time. I've never been a huge fan of them. Like, I can sit there and eat them because they're addicting. But, like, the goldfish are really my favorite. But the burnt cheeses are so good. They're extra toasty. I could eat a whole box of extra toasty cheeses. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> we'll have to bring you a box. Can't wait. Extra toasty. Well, Team Goldfish is still better than Team Cheese It. Two against one, so you can just leave. <laughs> just I'll leave like with all my goldfish. Scoot the camera over so then it's just us and then screwed. Or like put up a sensor in the edit and cut her out of the whole video because cause she's team team goldfish. Even though she brought us all these snacks. Yeah, it's a yeah. Thing. I'm gonna leave with all my snacks. <laughs> oh no, you can stay. Yeah, yeah, that's a thought. Team Goldfish or Team Cheese It? Comment down below. <laughs> yeah, comment down below which one you prefer. <laughs> Wait, hold on, just do like this. There, that was not it. Okay, just the trash. The trash.